Gregor is present standing guard over Cersei when Jaime returns from dawn with Marcella's body. Later, Gregor continues to serve Cersei without question. He finds a man who boasts of having flashed his penis at Cersei during her walk and bashes his head against a wall, killing him. Back at the Red Keep, he accompanies Cersei when she attempts to attend Marcella's funeral, only to be stopped by a group of Lannister soldiers, who have arrived to prevent her from leaving on King Tommen's orders. Although Gregor intimidates the captain with his size, Cersei acquiesces, and he escorts her back to her room. Gregor follows Cersei and Jaime into Kyburn's laboratory, where the former maester tries to win the service of the little birds by offering them candied plums from dawn. The children are extremely frightened by the towering knight and quickly flee the room. Jamie asks what Kyburn has done to Gregor, to which the latter replies with, a number of things. Jamie wonders whether Gregor is able to understand what they are saying, then insults his intelligence by questioning whether he ever understood complete sentences at all, to which the huge knight menacingly turns his head towards Jamie. Kyburn assures that Gregor understands well enough. Jamie suggested sending Sir Gregor to the High Septon to crush him and his faith militants. Cersei disagrees saying they can't let Sir Gregor face them all and that he only needs to face one, implying the coming trial by combat. At the small council, Pycelle expresses his disgusts about Kyburn's treatment of Sir Gregor, calling him an abomination. He attempts to suggest that it would be in everyone's best interest to have the beast destroyed, but he was cut short when he becomes aware of the presence of Cersei, Jaime and Gregor himself. Frightened by the huge man, Pycelle cannot keep himself from passing gas. Cersei suggests the small council gets on with urgent matters, as they cannot make them leave. Kevin replies that Cersei and Jaime cannot make them stay either, unless they set Gregor to kill them. As everyone except Cersei and Jaime leave, Pycelle cowers past Sir Gregor, who coldly looks back. After Cersei gets word of Olena Tyrell's intention to return to Highgarden, she confronts her. Sir Gregor Clegane follows in the Queen Mother's wake and silently stands guard behind her. When Lancel and several other members of the Faith Militant enter the Red Keep, Cersei, Kyburn, and Sir Gregor arrive to confront them. Lancel tells Cersei that the High Septon wishes to speak with her, but Cersei refuses, and when Lancel does not leave at her command, Gregor stands in his way as the Faith attempt to forcibly take Cersei. He remains unmoved when Lancel orders him to stand down. One of the sparrows attacked Gregor, and although his weapon's spikes pierce Gregor's plate, Gregor does not say a word or appear to even acknowledge any injury. When the sparrow tries to attack again, Gregor grabs him by the throat, lifting him into the air and throwing him to the ground. While Lancel and the other sparrows look on in horror, the towering knight kneels beside him and tears his head off. Lancel and the others thereby stand down. Sir Gregor accompanies Cersei and Kyburn to the Great Hall, where Tommen is about to make a royal announcement. As Cersei attempts to stand beside her son, she is barred by Kevin Lannister, who tells her place is on the gallery with the other ladies of the court. Cersei reluctantly takes her place there with Gregor following her, causing the women to hastily make place. Tommen announces that Cersei and Loris will stand trial before Seven Septons and that trial by combat is forbidden in the Seven Kingdoms, thereby nullifying Cersei's plans on having the mountain fight as her champion again. On the day of her and Loris Tyrell's trial, Cersei sends Gregor to Tommen's chambers, to prevent him from going to the Great Sept of Baelor to protect him from its destruction. Tommen tries to get past but Gregor easily holds him back. Tommen later commits suicide after hearing of Marjorie Tyrell's death in the destruction of the Great Sept of Baelor. Gregor is summoned by Cersei to the Red Keep dungeons after the explosion, being introduced to Cersei's newest prisoner, Scepter Anella. After removing his helmet, revealing his withered and mangled face, Gregor is left alone with Anella who screams in terror as the mountain looms over her, ready to carry out his orders to torture the scepter for imprisoning and humiliating Cersei. Later, when Cersei is crowned as queen, he is seen looming beside the Iron Throne, gazing into the crowd. 